creature could be making those cries.
I thank you, friends. Without your timely arrival, my death would have been slow, but certain. How can we be sure we won't be the next to feel your talons? You have seen for yourself that I am no friend of the goblins, and my people have, from time to time, allied themselves with men, elves, and dwarves. Even had you not saved my life, we would have good cause to be friends. I am called Belaram. My home is in the Misty Mountains, and I serve Gwaihir, Lord of Eagles. Who is it I have to thank for my rescue? I am Farin, a dwarf of Erebor, and King Dane is my lord. My friends here are Andriel and Eredan. Then I am indebted to you, Farin of Erebor, and to your friends. How did the goblins manage to capture you? I was careless, and the goblins were well prepared. They used war machines to fire bolts that exploded around me. I was stunned and fell from the sky. When I came to my senses, I was bound and helpless, even as you found me. Have you seen any sign of the one who leads this rabble? I saw a tall man, heavily armored. The goblins obeyed his commands. Who he is, I cannot say, but he had an aura of menace, like one tainted by the shadow. Agandar, it must be. You know this man? He serves the Dark Lord. We have a grudge to settle with him. I will assist you, but it will be perilous. The enemy has positioned war machines upon the inner wall. They limit my ability to fly freely. If we could reach the top of the wall, we might be able to destroy the machines. Beyond those doors, you will find a passage and stairs leading up to the wall. The machines are certain to be heavily guarded. We have little chance of surprising the goblins with but one way to approach. I will take to the air and draw their fire. If we are fortunate, that will allow you to gain the top of the wall unobserved. Seems like a good way to get yourself killed. I am better prepared now. They will not find it so easy to bring me down a second time. Good. Let's get after them.